What's going on, everybody? It's been quite some time since I done a podcast or really any type of video. I haven't been doing nothing lately. I've been slacking and lagging. But yeah, but um, as you can tell, this is a random video. I ain't got no special lights, no fancy background. It's just a random video. But I really, really felt the need to address this subject because as a believer, I know that we've all been through this, or so some of us are still going through this. And what I want to talk about today is, I want to over tonight, I want to talk about the silence of God. Now, we all either have found ourselves or we find ourselves in a season where God is just simply not saying one word to us. And, of course, that could be very alarming to us because a lot of times we will find ourselves in an impossible situation and um, God has the nerve to uh, not talk. <laughs> now, I'm going to give you three simple reasons um, as to why God has decided to remain silent to you. The first reason is he wants us to, he wants to work on us as a vessel. I heard a man to God say that there are at times we are not the versions of ourselves that would align with the purpose that God has orchestrated for our lives. And that, that just makes perfect sense. So in that case, God will remain silent because when he is silent, you have no choice but to reflect on yourself. You know, you have no choice but to sit back and ask yourself, what is it that can be hindering you from moving into your purpose? What can be, you know, what is inside of you that's preventing you from going to that level in God, you have to accept that. So that's one of the reasons. The second reason is um, there are battles that we just simply don't see in the spirit realm. You know, we might see things like a door closing. You might, you know, lose a job or you might get denied for a job. But that's God's protection. And a lot of times we're too stupid to understand that because we think everything should go our way because it looks good. So if it glitters, we say it must be gold. But that's just not how it works. <clears throat> so that is another reason why God has remained silent. Now, the third reason, the third reason is a very simple one. Well, they all are simple. The third reason is if God, if you find yourself where God is talking to you, you need to go back and figure out if you've done everything that God told you to do in the first place. Because a lot of times if God told us to do something, then just think about it as a parent or when you were a child, when your, when your mom or your dad asked you to do something, they didn't ask you to do it again. They asked you one time. And if you didn't do it after that one time, your butt was in trouble. I mean, this generation is a little different. They, they're, they're, they're a little different. But for our generation, the generation before ours, our parents didn't play. They asked us and they called us one time. And we know, you know, parents who, you know, kids grew up in the 90s and 80s and before, you know, our parents would call us. I know my mom be like, Israel. And I'd be like, yes, 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 yes. Because I didn't want to get up and go see what she wanted. But she did not call me a second time. She never called me a second time. I had to get my butt up and go to where she was. Not the same thing when it comes to God. You got to go back 
and you got to figure out if he told you to do something or he called you to a certain place and you didn't go there or you didn't do it. God is not going to repeat itself. He is not going to repeat itself. Sometimes you might, you know, get some grace and you might say it a couple times, but a lot of times if he chose to do something once, he's not going to say it again. So if he already told you what to do, if he gave you instructions on what to do last year and a whole year or a year and a half went by, he will be quiet until you do what he told you to do so you can move on to the next step. Now, <clears throat> when God is silent, it can be very, very frustrating because like I see it, um, I hope I said it, maybe it was another take, but <clears throat> a lot of times we'll find ourselves in impossible situations and then, you know, God got the audacity to be silent. You know, and I tell you, we, we look at him like, man, that sucked, man. God abandoned me, or man, God, you know, look. Those type of situations, even though they hurt, and oh man, do they hurt? It's like a mental, emotional scourging. If we don't know what a scourging is, it's where Jesus received, he was beat by the Romans, a scourging. Now people say flogging. Nah, I want a flogging. That was a scourging. But yeah, it's an emotional and mental scourging. But if we change our perspective, if we take advantage of the situation and we learn to change our perspective, then we actually can go somewhere in God. Now, don't think for one second just because you pray a little more or you fast that God is going to start talking because God ain't, he's not stupid. He know our nature is just to do, to get because that's really the philosophy that we're taught. Praise God and he'll rain down blessings. When the reality is we should praise and worship God, not because of what he can do for us, but because of who he is, his majesty, his royalty. You know, he's the God of God, the Lord of Lords. God is not a genie. So we should not be praising and worshiping him. To get stuff. If you want to do that, you need to go worship Satan because that's how that works. But when you come to God, we praise, honor, and worship him because of who he is. Now, I'm not telling you not to fast or pray and go deeper because you have to do those things in order to get closer and closer to God. What I'm saying is, don't get it twisted. Do it because you want to get closer to God and not just because you want a quick fix because God's not going to do that. If he allows you to get this far, and an impossible situation. That means that God is really, he's really after what's inside of you. He's after what he placed inside of you. And he's going, he's coming after it hard and he's going to pull it out of you. See, what we don't understand is God's will is going to always be God's will. It's always going to happen, whether we have permission or not. Look at Jonah. Look at Moses. Moses, he didn't want to go to Pharaoh. He didn't want to go back to Egypt. But what happened? He went back. Jonah, he didn't want to go talk to those people. What happened? He got swallowed by a whale. He went through what he went through. And he ended up being obedient. And I'm sure he was very blessed for that. So, those are the three key reasons why God is silent. I can't remember the order I said it in, but one, he wants to fix you. He wants to work on you as a vessel. Two, you need to go back and, and, and see if there's something that he told you to do that you didn't do and do it. Three, did I, I don't even know if I mentioned three, but three, he's um, fighting unseen battles in the spirit realm that we can't see. He's, he's protecting us. So <clears throat> we need to be thankful, even in these impossible situations. Like I say, these impossible situations, man, they hurt. They really, really hurt. But resistance and hardship, if we allow God to work on us, it builds character. And remember, even when God is not speaking, remember in Luke, I believe it's Luke chapter 2, the Bible says that with God's silence, it said that Jesus grew 
and wisdom, statue, and favor with God. So if God was silent with Jesus in order to develop him, and that's his son, and that was God in the flesh. Don't think for a second that he's not going to shut up when it come to you. Because God, if, if, if God, if you find yourself in a situation where God has been, is God is silent, find that as honorable. Find that as a blessing. Because that means that he cares enough to use you as his chosen vessel. Because he can easily throw you away and use somebody else. And he can direct you to something else. So I know it might not feel good right now because he's not talking or he hasn't talked. But just consider this a blessing that he found you useful enough. I'm not going to say worthy because we're never worthy of anything. But he found you useful enough. And he placed something inside of you that's for his purpose, the use for his glory. So I hope that this video helps somebody. I really do. If you know me, you know I never ask people to subscribe and like my videos and share my videos. I simply believe that if you guys enjoy the material, I don't want to call it content. If you guys enjoy the material and you feel what I'm saying, then you guys are going to do that stuff automatically. But yeah, if God is silent, just find that honorable. Do what you have to do. Do what you need to do. And obey God. And watch you start speaking. Now, guys, until next time.